Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Do you know how to make a local speech recognition system? Or do you know how to make a magic wand where you can turn your gestures into drawings in the computer? Or do you know how to make a simple person detection system? Now, if you're from a technical background, all this might sound super easy to you, but do you know how to do it on a low-cost microcontroller like the Arduino without an active internet connection? Probably not. To find out how, let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome to RoboCrease. My name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run some tiny ML applications on the new Arduino Nano 33B. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this microcontroller, I've already covered a video explaining what this is, all the features it contains, and how to get started in Arduino IDE. But in short, if you really want to get started with these applications of the Nano 33 BLE, make sure you have the Nano 33 BLE board installed in your IDE and the Tiny ML library from the library manager in the RT. To get started, open Arduino IDE, go to Tools, click on Boards, Arduino Embed Board, and select Nano 33 BLE. If you haven't installed it, please refer to our previous guide. Now for the program, go to File, Examples, go to Arduino TensorFlow Lite and click on Microspeech. To upload the code, connect the Arduino to the computer and double click on the onboard button. That will put it into a boot mode where you can upload your programs. You can now again go to Tools and select the correct COM code as putting the device into boot mode will change the COM code. Once done, click on Upload. Since, since this is a machine learning program, the compilation can take uh, quite a while, so you can sit back and relax. Once the upload is done, you'll again have to change the COM port. So go to Tools and select the correct COM port. Once done, you can open your serial monitor and you will see the device output. So in order to use this program, you have to clearly say yes or no. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. To upload the next code, you'll have to go to Tools, Ma Library Manager, and search for Harvard. There's a Harvard Tiny ML library, and we will be using that for the next two experiments. Since I already have it installed, it shows installed and the install button is grayed out. But once you install it, go to File, Examples, look for Harvard Tiny ML, and click on magic wand. Again, similar to before, put your device into boot mode, go to tools, select the correct COM port, and click upload. Again, as before, since this is a machine learning application, the compilation time will take a while. Once the upload is done, open Serial Monitor, maximize it, and you can start making gestures with your nano board and the approximate guess should be printed on the serial monitor. Note that this wouldn't be very accurate, uh, but it's a proof of concept and you can get some approximations. So as you can see, as different gestures that I do show up in different shapes and you can use take this take advantage of this to build applications. The next example I will be showing you is the percent detection algorithm. So again, go to the examples, go to Harvard library and click on percent detection. Put the device into boot mode, select the correct COM port and upload the code. Again, as with all machine learning applications, the compilation time will take a while. So do not worry that your compilation got stuck. Once the code is uploaded, 
you have to connect your board to the tiny Emma daughter board with the OV7675 camera. This OV7675 camera is the camera that is used by the nano board to run the person detection algorithm. Once done, open the serial monitor and you should be able to see a scoring system where the nano tries to guess the object it sees is a person or not. If, the, if it is indeed a person, the person detected score will go high and the no person detected score will go negative. And if it doesn't detect a person, it will be vice versa. So here you can see that I pointed the nano uh, to my face and you can start seeing that the LED turns green. That indicates that it detected a person. So in this video, I've only shown you how to get started with these features on the Nano 33. But the possibilities on what these features can be built up to is pretty much endless. For example, you can use a microphone local speech recognition system to make a simple home automation device where you can control all your appliances via software. The advantage of going this route is that none of your voice data is being sent to a server, so you completely maintain your, maintain your data privacy while having the benefits of having a very highly automated systems. You can use your magic wand for basic gesture recognitions where you can program your Arduino Nano to recognize a particular gestures to activate something. And of course, person detection system where the possibilities of its applications are pretty much limitless. You can implement it easily on a gate system where to count the number of people entering a particular room. And I'm sure you'll be able to come up with some application that would be best suited for you and take advantage of the Nano 33 BME and its machine learning capabilities. In the next few videos, I'll be going a little more basic and show you how to take advantage of the onboard sensors and how to write code for it. So make sure you're subscribed, click the bell icon so you won't miss the upcoming videos. And my name is Thomas. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.